are going to destroy the world, but I just wanted to let you know what you're going to be destroying. I didn't want my life to go unremembered, so I present to you tonight my life, my funeral, my fun neural. <laughs> Seth Dodson was born on April 13th, 1982, as a baby like most people. Um, he did uh, the normal stuff that most babies do, like get drunk and uh, go to the zoo with his dad. That day we learned about bears. He would ask uh, Santa Claus for special toys. He didn't get that toy this year. All he got were socks. Uh, during Seth's uh, developmental years, um, there were worries that he might have mental retardation or cognitive dysfunction, a cerebral palsy. Um, so in 1992, uh, he went to horse riding, horse riding camp to begin rehabilitation. Uh, he grew a strong love for horses, so much so that he grew a ponytail. Yes. After camp... about the composition of this picture. Um, the neon orange fanny pack, the bottle cap glasses, the shirt that says El Paso Rehabilitation Center, sweatpants. It is amazing that Seth lived to be this old. After camp, Seth gained the confidence to fully realize his gained the confidence to fully realize his dream of becoming a girl. This didn't, this didn't last very long when people on the street began to mistake him for his mother or a prostitute or both. In 1999, he decided he needed to, to straighten himself out. So, he took his maid, he took his maid, Consuela, to the prom. Uh, yeah. It was a night filled with many memories. That night, Consuela took Seth's virginity. His ass is still sore. Deciding that this wasn't the path for him, he embarked on several different phases to truly try to find himself lesbian, <laughs> raver, cowgirl, Cirque du Soleil. There it is. Uh, note to Cirque du Soleil, uh, Seth was doing it first. Uh, in 2003, he entered a very dark period and he got fat. All of this identity searching, however, it finally let Seth find his true voice, and it sounded gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> gay! <laughs> After finally finding himself, he decided 
decided he never wanted to lose himself again, so in 2006, he had a clone of himself made. This is Seth too. Yeah. It's not Seth like the number two, like a robot, it's like Seth also. His name is also Seth. He lives in Seth's camper. In 2008, he scored an invitation. Um, in 2008, he scored an invitation to compete in Impress These Apes. And he met someone who told him that he might have a chance to save the world and his life. He tried his hardest. But these damned apes are relentless in their pursuit of evil. This world and Seth's life are a lost cause. Thank you. Wait, wait, turn off the slide. I think I know something that might bring Seth back to life. It's something that I saw once in a Broadway musical. <laughs> there is a pretty good chance that Seth is in this building right now. And with your help, I think we could bring him back. So what I want, what I'm asking you to do, is clap your hands if you believe in fairies. <laughs> clap your hands if you believe in fairies. Clap your hands!